Hey guys, it's Hertzburst, and in today's video, I want to make a quick video just covering the news on the two brand new X bays that were shown in the latest issue of Koro Koro. So, starting off with the less exciting of the two, we have Black Shell. This is the bay used by the final member of Team Pendragon, and it will be a defense type releasing in Random Booster Volume 4. The blade looks to have some decent weight to it, which is cool, since the defense types in X so far have been pretty lackluster, either suffering from being too jagged or too light, which hopefully this can solve. It comes with the Ratchet 460, which is pretty old, but we do get a new bit called Dot, which is essentially the shape of High Needle's tip, but on a low height and with little dots covering its bottom. I doubt this will be good, but it is cool to see a new bit. Overall, a pretty cool looking bay, but I'll probably pass on this one just because it's locked to a random booster. As for the second bay, as those of you who have been following this channel would know, we saw a teaser for the first less spin X bay in the previous issue of Koro Koro, and this is what that ended up being for. The bay's name is Cobalt Dragoon, and as you can see, it's a less spin variant of Cobalt Drake, which I made a prediction for in a previous video. I wasn't too far off, but I definitely prefer the official version to mine. Going part by part, the bit releasing on this is a new one called Cyclone. It has a shape reminiscent of Spiral from Burst, which is exactly what I predicted it'd have. It wasn't hard to predict though, seeing as every other first left spin X bay in each generation released with a tip similar to this shape. I look forward to seeing how it'll perform in the stadium though, but it's nothing too crazy. Moving on to the Ratchet, it's a new one called 260. While we haven't seen a two-sided Ratchet yet in person, we did know this was coming since the orange recolor of John Dagger announced a little while back came with 280, so it made sense that we get this at some point. It looks like it protrudes a lot, which seems less than ideal for burst resistance, but we'll just have to see how that actually works. Then finally we have the blade. The blade has four main contact points, each of which is split down the middle with a small- Then finally we have the blade. The blade has four main contact points, each of which is split down the middle with a small plastic protrusion. It's similar to that of the shape for the old Dragoon Bays, which makes sense given the name. The blades are facing left rather than right though, as this is our first left spinning X-Blade. It has the same launcher hooks as the Shell and Tiger, basically confirming that these are uh, bays for Team Pendragon. The icon for this chip looks really good too, I think this is my favourite icon we've seen in X thus far. This bay also comes with its own launcher, as obviously, the right spin launcher that exists now won't work with this left spin blade. It comes in a nice blue colour. So that's all the news at the moment. I can't wait to see these bays in the story, it seems like we're getting really close to the story finale. So this has been Hurts Burst, we'll see you in the next one, and I'm signing off.